Hi guys, welcome to the Hardy Weinbeck principle. So you need to be able to define the terms gene pool and allele a frequency, to define the Hardy Weinbeck principle, and using the Hardy Weinbeck principle, calculate allele genotype and phenotype frequencies. So this is our specification for today. And we will start with the key terminology. So what is a population? It's a group of organisms of the same species that occupies a particular space at a particular time, and they can interbreed to produce fertilized offspring. Gene pool, all alias of all the genes uh, of all the individuals in a population at a given time. An allelic frequency is the number of times an allele will occur within the gene pool. So what is the hardy weinberg principle? So it's the equation to work out the frequencies of the alleles in the population. The assumption of it is that the proportion of dominant and recessive alleles of any gene in a population remains the same from one generation to the next generation. And there are five things that must uh, take place for this equation to be true. There is no mutations. Population is isolated, so there is no flow of alleles in or out of the population. There is no selection, so all alleles are equally likely to be passed to next generation. We're dealing with the large population size, and the mapping within population is random. So. Those are the things that you need to remember about the uh, equations. So P and Q stands for the uh, frequency of the alleles. Those equal 1. PQ then, it's the probability of the dominant homozygous. 2PQ, it's the probability of the heterozygous. And Q square, it's the probability of recessive homozygous and all of those equals one as well. So what do we need to do in terms of the calculations? Easy way to remember, calculate Q or P firstly, so that's the frequency of the alleles. Then you can calculate um, the, uh, the, the P and Q using the equation that P and Q equals one. And finally, uh, once you've got everything, you can calculate the genotypes. So this stands for heterozygous. This is dominant. Uh, sorry, this is recessive homozygous. And P uh, square is a uh, dominant homozygous. So let's have a look at few scenarios. So we've got first past paper questions. So they're asking you to work out the allele frequency, uh, frequency of cystic uh, fibrosis and a recessive condition affecting the lungs. And the population of 15,000 people, one person suffers from the disease. So how do we do it? So we know that it's the uh, recessive condition. And one person, so that refers to the genotype, to the phenotype, okay? So the frequency of the recessive homozygous, you can work out by one divided by the total population, and that will be the answer. So knowing this, we can square root our Q square to work out the allele frequency for this disease, which will give us that answer. So if you would like to then work out further the frequency of dominant alias or the genotypes, we use this equation P and Q equals 1. So uh, we take uh, away our frequency of the recessive allele from 1, and that will give us the frequency of the dominant allele. Okay, if you would like to take it further, you can work out now the genotypes. For example, the heterozygous within this population, what do we need? We need our P and Q multiplied by 2. So that is the frequency of the, uh, of the, um, of the uh, genotype within the population. Right, let's have a look at the scenario number two, really common when they would like to ask, when they ask you to work out the allele frequency without using the Hardy-Weinberg equation. So this is a question. 
there were 850 fruit flies in one population. In this population, 510 uh, fruit has a genotype WNWN, 255 had a genotype WNWV, and 85 had a genotype WNWV. VWV. And you need to work out the frequency of WV allele without using the equation. So how to do it? Firstly, write down everything what you know. Okay. Then highlight your frequencies, uh, your, sorry, the allele WV that they are looking for. So we've got it here in it within 85 and we've got it in there. So what do we need to do with that 255? We need to divide this by Two, to work out only the frequency from that. So once you've got that, we're adding this to 85, will give us 212.5, and we divide that total, uh, that number by the total number of the uh, fruit flies in the population. So the answer for this question is not 0.25. Let's have a look at the scenario number three when they're asking for the genotypes. So you've got another population of fruit flies. It's uh, 950 this time, and they've given you frequency of the allele, not 0.2. And they would like you to use the Hardy-Weinberg equation to calculate number, so read question properly, and number of the insects that would have this genotype here. So what do we need to do the same as before write down what we know so we've got total we've got the uh, q which is not 0.2 and we're looking for this uh, genotype here which is our headshot zygos within the formula so what do we need to do again use p and q equals one work out the frequency of p which is not 0.8 and a uh, frequency of uh, heterozygous 2PQ that they're asking us for, it's not 0.32, but that's the frequency. If that was the question about frequency, that would be your answer, but they want a number. So what do we need to do with this frequency? Multiply by the total number of fruit flies. So the answer is 304. So let's have a look at one more scenario when they would like uh, you to work out the genotype frequency, but it's a bit tricky question. So we've got the shares of this name might be unbanded or banded, and the absence or presence is affected by uh, specific alleles. The unbanded, it's a dominant, and banded, it's recessive. And they told you that the population of snails contain 51% unbanded. So what that means, that unbanded could be either heterozygous or dominant homozygous, because that, that's where we will have big B in our genotypes, and then the banded would be BB. So within this 51%, we are looking for PQ and 2PQ. So we don't know which one is which then. So what we can do instead, we can use this fact that we know for sure that the uh, frequency of banded snails will be then 49%. And this is what you're going to use in your calculations. So Q square is 49%. We square root this to work out Q, which is 0.7. Take away from 1 to work out P, which is not 0.3, and then we can work out the expected heterozygous uh, frequency by using 2PQ. Right, so that's everything for the Hardy-Weinberg in terms of the working out. See you later.